happy to be on this channel to support you, guide you and even nudge you in the right direction. So would you mind doing something for me? If no, bring a paper and a pen and put it on it a saying which I tell you. What the heart perceives, the mind can achieve. Few of my subscribers constantly asking me to do the topic DMGT. So what is this DMGT? Discrete Mathematics and Graph Theory. So those are all comments are always in the neuron of my brain and marrow of the bone. Awaited the time and the time has come. So please pull out your attention, concentration towards this video so that it will be very, very helpful for you. So today's topic is Mathematical Logics. So the truth tables here are very familiar in your grade 10th. The first thing is negation, conjunction, disjunction, conditional statements, which otherwise called as implication and biconditional statements, which is otherwise called as equivalence. So how to draw these truth tables? So here is a simple logic which I tell you today. So negation is means the negative statement. If P is a positive Negation P is a negative statement. So, for example, in the truth table, if it is true, then the answer here will be false. The negation will be in an opposite statement that is false. So, if it is false, the negation of the statement will be true and vice versa. If it is true, this will be false. If it is false, it will be true. Please remember, this is the most important. For negation, this is the truth table. And see, coming to the conjunction. So this is if there are two statements and if they are connected with and. So this is the conjunction. So obviously, there will be true, true and false, false. And for Q, this is, remember, true, false. This is true, false clear and see always remember that for the conjunction if they are two truths blindly keep a true so they are two truths and again you keep a true and rest are all this one rest are all false so you have to remember only this one that is if if they are truths obviously and is also a true and next coming to disjunction. So disjunction is P or Q. So this is the symbol P or Q. So blindly follow that if they are two false, obviously the result will be false. And filling the truth table. So take two truths, true false. And next one, true false, true false. So these are the statements. True, true, false, false. And next one, true, false. Next one is true, false. And for this, wherever you find true, false, immediately write as a false. And the rest are all in the opposite direction. That is true, true, true. And next one, coming to the conditional statement. So here also, this is P and this is Q. This is implies. P implies Q. The symbol here is P implies q and here blindly you have to follow true false if there is true false immediately write false so only this one you have to remember and filling the conditional table true true false false see here there are two trues and true false single true single false single true single false so this is the domain which you have to give and see here, if there is true and false, true and false, immediately write false. And the rest are all in an opposite statements. See here, this is true, true, true. So this is the only thing which you have to remember for implication. And the next here is biconditional. For biconditional, see here, the symbol here is this one. And for true, true, it is again true. And again, false, false, this is also true. So these are the two symbols which you have to remember. And again, for filling the truth table, see here, true, true, false, false. And next one, true, false, and this is true, false. See here, if there are two trues, TT, and again, this will be a true, and this is also true. And rest are all, 
with opposite statements that is false and this is false hope this is very clear see for the negation statement if it is true it will be false if it is false it will be true and for the conjunction so this is the only thing which you have to remember for two truths it will be obviously true and for or 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 disjunction so please remember if they are two false immediately it will be the statement will be false for the conditional truth table so this is the thing which you have to remember true false again the statement answer is false and for the biconditional thing if there are two trues it will be true and if there are two false it will be true and rest are all in an opposite statements see here see for true this is false and false this is true negation is very simple and for conjunction is also very simple so all three t's if there are two trues obviously the result is also a true for disjunction if there are two false it follows it is followed by false and for a conditional statement true false it will be false for biconditional if there are two trues or true false the result is true and rest are all in an opposite statement see here these are the five for truth tables which you have to learn so the logic is also very clear and for the clear explanation about these truth tables i'm explaining you what is this negation so let me tell you about the negation so if p denotes a statement if p is any statement then the negation of p negation of the p is written as negation p the symbol is like this and it can be read as not p the truth table for the negation is if it is true then the negation of the statement is false and if it is false this one is true for example if p is the statement which states that chennai is a city the negation of p it's an opposite statement chennai is not a city so this is about the negation so this is the definition this is the truth table and this is the example and the next one coming to the conjunction so what is the conjunction here so it is conjunction the conjunction of two statements p and q is denoted by the statement p cap q which read as p and q the statement p and q has a truth table t whenever both p and q have the truth table t see it is very clear that if p is true and q is true and obviously the result is also true otherwise the statement is false see here the truth table conjunction for conjunction is tt ff and next one 1t 1f and 1t 1f so wherever you find double t if they are two trues obviously it will be true and rest are all false so you have to keep it in a brain that if there are two trues and obviously the answer will be true so for p cap q and see the example here is p the statement of p is jack went up the hill q jill went up the hill so if you add up these two for conjunction p and q jack and jill went up the hill so jack and jill went up the hill so this is the definition of conjunction and this is the truth table and this is the example see clearly you can write in the exam and next one talking about disjunction so what is this disjunction disjunction of two statements p and q may be denoted by the statement p or q which read as p or q the statement p or q has a truth values false only when both p and q are false see here if p is false and q is false obviously the statement answer is false otherwise it is true so the disjunction table which i am going to write is always take tt true true and this is false false and next one single t single false single t single false these are the statements and wherever you find two false wherever you find two false if p is false and q is false automatically the statement is false and the rest are all rest are all of an opposite statement that is true 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 please remember this one so false false so this is f f gives rise to f so this is for p or q see this is what it is uh, told that is the statement p or q has the truth value f only if when both p and q 
have what the truth value is f so if p is f and q is f obviously the statement value is f so example example of uh, disjunction example i shall watch the game on tv i shall go to the stadium so p or q the statement is i shall watch the game on tv or see here or go to the stadium so this is the definition of disjunction this is the truth table and this is the example clear and next one is conditional statement so the conditional statement is if p and q are any two statements then the statement p implies q which is read as if p then q is called the conditional statement or implication statement in p implies q the p is called antecedent or hypothesis and q is called consequent or conclusion see clear so the statement here states that so there is only one logic here that is first true then false gives rise to false so here also the same case for the truth table i am writing true true and next one is false false one true one false one true one false the result here will be so blindly remember for p implies q true false it is followed by false and the rest are all of them opposite statements that is true 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 so this is the only thing which you have to remember for writing the truth tables also is very simple that is you have to take two trues two false one true one false one true one false and you have to remember this statement for implies that is true false which gives rise to false and here is an example p is a statement that it rains q statement states that i will carry an umbrella so for p implies q if it rains then i'll carry an umbrella so this is the statement for this one conditional statement and next one so this is this is the definition this is the truth table and this is the example clear and the next one coming to the biconditional statement if p and q are any two statements p double implies q which is read as p if and only if q is called the biconditional statement the statement p double m plus q has the truth value t whenever both p and q have an identical values identical values same values otherwise the truth value is false so please remember if they have if p and q have identical values if p is true and q is true then the statement is true so if p has f and q has f then they are identical p and q are identical so obviously it has an ident it is true so for this truth table so we have to take tt and ff true true false false single true single false single true single false if they have an identical value so see here true and true they are identical so immediately write t so f and f identical values so write t and the rest are all of an opposite statement that is false and false so you have to remember these two true true gives true and false false gives true so this is for double implies p if and only if q for p if and only if q the statement p if and only if q may also be expressed as p is necessary and sufficient for q and next one if p then q and conversely it can be written as p if q so these are all the statements that is first one is negation conjunction disjunction conditional and biconditional so i have given you a notes for this so please do follow and if you follow these steps so if you follow these tables so it is also very easy for conjunction so double t gives rise to t and for disjunction double f gives rise to f and for conditional statement tf gives rise to f and for biconditional two t's or two identical values of p and q and two f's gives t true and the rest are all of on opposite statement so these are all the five uh, truth table values and hope you all guys understand this is a simple logic which i have uh, used while i am studying also so it will be very very helpful if you really like this video please do follow subscribe and share it with your friends siblings and the person you whom you like the most and 
subscribe to this channel and stay connected and i'll be uploading so many videos related to these series until then bye